as you can see I've pretty much maxed out my property uh, with palms and trees and various things so um, what do you do after you max out your own property you go to your neighbors and uh, <clears throat> so I'll show you a quick little shot I, I can't go on this property anymore because it's just recently been purchased by some people and I haven't really gotten to know them yet but there's a solitaire palm trunk right there and if I zoom way back there you can just see a Cerebus rotunda folia starting to pop out there and uh, I stuck that in the yard a few years ago as I had also put this um, sorry solitaire palm in there so let's go to another neighbor's house and I'll show you some more stuff Here's a Thrinax radiata. Uh, this one's kind of cool because it's dwarf-ish. It was stunted uh, by pot growth. It, it was terribly root-bound, and it's been in the ground here for about eight years, and it's that's the size that it's keeping right now, which is kind of neat. And here's a pair of royal palms that I planted in my neighbor's yard about 12 years ago. Uh, they've gotten quite chubby in that time. And uh, just around the corner here, you can see there's a solitaire palm that I put in his yard and here's a coconut that I planted in my neighbor's yard so this is kind of just all tongue-in-cheek here but over the years um, and my neighbors are kind of tolerant of my bizarre obsession with palms so uh, I've been able to sort of vicariously enjoy other things none of them are terribly rare which is I guess why they spilled over um, but it was kind of a nice luxury to be able to plant palms in neighbors yards and you know at least move some stock out of my yard I have a neighbor just down the street about three two houses down and he's taken about maybe two dozen adenidia and solitaires and a bunch of other stuff so uh, I just give them away to him and he's got he's got two houses on the thing there and then I also have another neighbor that's a horticulturalist and he owns two houses um, to, to my left and, and behind me and so uh, he's got his place packed full of palms and stuff too so anyway just a, a quick thing about uh, you, you might be getting carried away with palm collecting if you uh, you start spilling over into your neighbor's yard